Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. In this short video, another video in our series dealing with theory of interest uh, and more importantly concentrating on our formula that deals with uh, mortgages, annuities and sinking funds, uh, is going to run an annuity calculation. Okay. Uh, and let's just, just keep in mind is that an annuity is basically the reverse of a mortgage. Okay, let me just write that down, yeah, okay? An annuity, okay, is the reverse, okay, it's the reverse of a mortgage, okay? And what I mean by it's the reverse of a mortgage is it allows someone with a lump sum uh, to invest it and basically receive regular income over a particular period of time. So let me just write that down. An annuity is the reverse of a mortgage, yeah, okay, and allows, okay, someone, okay, someone with a lump sum, okay, okay, it allows someone with a lump sum uh, to invest it, to invest, to invest it and receive okay and receive okay regular income regular regular income okay okay over some fixed period fixed period okay of time okay now these sort of things are pretty are, are pretty frequent okay especially people with pensions okay usually what happens is that within a particular organization you might be on a defined benefit scheme or a defined contribution scheme uh, but basically you're saving or you're putting an amount of money uh, by uh, each week or each month okay for a particular pension in the future it's like a big savings account okay but it's been invested by, uh, by trustees and so on into bonds and into equities uh, to try to maximize the gain with respect to the investment okay Let's just consider that you've actually been saving for a pension, okay, or you've been putting money into a particular pension scheme. And when you retire, actually, what happens typically is that your pension is worth a certain amount of money, okay? So what you usually do with that particular money is you take that amount that you've accumulated up in your pension, okay, and you buy what's known as an annuity, okay? So you buy an annuity, and you buy a particular annuity uh, that will pay you a certain amount of money each year, okay? And the question that we have here is this, is that we have a certain amount of money, okay? Let's say we have uh, 250 250,000 euros okay so we have 250,000 euros uh, so we'd like to invest that okay uh, or no let's not even let's not let's not think about that in that way yeah let's say that what we want is we want an annuity okay that will pay us let's say 25,000 euros a year for the next 10 years and the question is how much is that annuity going to cost yeah okay so the scenario is something like this so our scenario okay is let's say something like this uh, let's say John okay as an example John wants an annuity okay okay so I want an annuity okay and I want an annuity that that pays me that pays that pays let's say 25,000 euros 25,000 euros okay uh, each year each year okay for the next let's say for argument's sake for the next 15 years okay, okay. Uh, and let's just assume if interest rates if interest rates okay are expected okay uh, to average to average let's say 4.3% okay okay well then the question is how much how much will the annuity the annuity cost okay so how much will this annuity cost I want 25,000 euros each year for the next 15 years okay interest rates are running at 4.3 percent okay and the question is how much is it going to cost me now to secure payments of 25,000 euros a year for the next for the next 15 years okay and uh, now our formula Okay, once again, our formula, okay, our formula, our formula looks something like this. It says an is equal to a0 times 1 plus i raised to the power of n, okay, plus f times 1 plus i raised to the power of n minus f all over, all over i, okay. So it's all over i here, okay. Let's just keep that in mind, okay. So 
So let's just think about this here for a moment, yeah? Uh, so which way do we want this to work, okay? Well, let's think about this as a bank account, okay? The bank account, after the 15 years, I should have taken out all of them 25,000 euros, okay? Each year I should have taken out 25, all the 25,000 euros. So the future uh, balance in the bank account should be zero. So in this case, when it comes to an annuity, AN is equal to zero. A0 is what the initial amount is in this particular bank account. Now, I don't know. This is the cost. This is the cost that I'm looking for. How much will the annuity cost me? So I'm looking for A0. Okay? I don't know what A0 is. It's a question mark here. Okay? F is, when we said earlier on, or we said previously, that F is how much you invest in a particular account over a particular period of time, the regular investment. And actually, well, in this case here, F is going to be the regular withdrawal from the account. In this case, it's going to be 25,000 euros, okay? So in our situation here, F is going to be equal to 25,000 euros. But more importantly, F is going to be negative because it's going to be a withdrawal from the account, okay? N is going to be the number of years. Well, it should be paid over 15 years. So N is equal to 15 years, okay? And I is the interest rate. The prevailing interest rate in this situation is 4.3%. So it's 0 0.043, okay? Now, this is actually really, really important here, okay? Is that we're withdrawing from, we're gonna be withdrawing from this account 25,000 euros each year for 15 years. So it's gonna be negative to indicate that we're withdrawing and that we're not actually putting something in. We're not investing into the account.